Hello and welcome to Golfito, Costa Rica's most southern port town. Located across from the Osa Peninsula on the Golfo Dulce. The town lies on a narrow strip between the bay and a hill and is divided into the shopping area and the residential area near the port. It also has one of the few duty-free shopping centers in Costa Rica with 49 retail stores. A shopping permit must be acquired the day prior to shopping and with that you help the local hospitality and tourism business in the area. In the mid 20th century, Golfito was a major banana growing region, but after declining markets, rising export taxes, banana disease and worker unrest, the United Fruit Company closed in 1985. You can still see the original wooden houses workers and their families used to live in, giving a nice touch and atmosphere to the town. The banana plantations have been replaced by palm oil plantations and in the mid 90s tourists began to arrive. By 2006 sport fishing had become the most important tourist attraction. But you can also do tours such as dolphin and whale watching, horseback riding or visiting one of the nearby wildlife refuge and national parks. The surrounding area is filled with lush green jungles, so the drive towards Golfito is a highlight on its own. Speaking of highlights, our channel is filled with them from all over Costa Rica and 45 other countries. And we have a very exciting new series coming out soon. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to keep our channel within reach and hit the bell icon to stay in the loop for new videos. All set? Awesome! Let's get back to Golfito. Near the port we see an old locomotive that has reached its final stop quite a while ago. And even though it is not a tourist attraction, we found it quite interesting to snoop around. And hey, if you can't find a cheap hotel, you can always crash on this mattress. The port itself is quite nice, although relatively small. You can find a few waterfront restaurants and shops. We also found these interesting looking ducks. A little further down, we saw a few of the famous mysterious swears that we covered a few videos back. So if you have no clue what they are, make sure to click the ink card in the corner of your screen. You can also rent kayaks and SUPs here or chill out at this hip looking place. The area is also home to a large variety of amazing birds, which you can see more of in our flora and fauna playlist and our wildlife shorts. For us it's time to visit the final piece of nature of this road trip, the National Wildlife Refuge that lays in the town itself. So, welcome to Refugio Nacional de Fauna Silvestre Golfito. If you go behind the airport, it's roughly three minutes drive to get to the refugio. The entry fee is $11, which might be a bit steep as there's only two hiking trails. The largest one is two kilometers. Of course, we're here for the flora, the fauna and the views. This really is a large area of biodiversity starting in Corcovado, ending right here. Now, we're gonna go for the hike and uh, the stick is for the snakes. Let's be on our way. On this chart, you can see the footprints of the local fauna. Now, I must admit that having traveled all over Costa Rica over the past two years has spoiled us quite a bit. Nonetheless, this is a beautiful piece of rainforest with plenty of interesting flora and snake. Ah, just kidding. The trail itself is relatively easy and has some mild climbing along the pond and some rivers to cross. The place is mainly known for its high trees. There also is a waterfall, so let's go and check it out. A short hike later, we arrived 
at the waterfall, a great place to take a break and enjoy the nature. I also spotted this nice little frog who was more than willing to participate in a photo shoot. Taking the trail back, we also encountered some interesting trees and plants. And again, like the song by UB40, many rivers to cross. I'll spare you my singing. And look at this interesting looking leaf. Do you know why it looks like that? Let me know in the comments. On the opposite side of where we entered, you can take the second trail. And even though the wildlife here appeared to have a day off, the unique flora makes up for a lot. Unfortunately, that concludes our time here for us, not just in Golfito, but also at Golfo Dulce. And now, with a detour on a four-hour trip, we're going to drive back to Perez Celadon, the starting point of this road trip. And with that, we will also have completed successfully traveling around the entire map of Costa Rica. Yes, he made it, he did it. We've seen many highlights, stunning flora and fauna, beautiful parks, met amazing people, and of course, there's always still many places yet to discover. So right now, we're gonna go back and edit out all our videos. And by the time you're seeing this, all our videos have already been online. And we'll probably be on our next adventure because there are plenty more places yet to visit. So make sure to stay tuned for that. For now, it's gonna be back into the car. And in four hours, we're gonna be back at our starting point. So without being said, and without further ado, let's up up be on our way and enjoy our last trip. See you when we get back in Perez Hello. Up and away. Are we going already? And with that, we conclude our third and final vlog series here in Costa Rica and our sixth vlog series since we started our world travel adventures. If you missed out or joined later on, feel free to check them out. Here is a quick recap of our journey through Costa Rica. Having completed our itinerary and road trip around the country, it might be time to start looking for our next destination. When and where that will be, even we don't know. In the meanwhile, we would like to thank you all for watching, supporting and following our adventures.
and make sure to check out these other videos of amazing places to visit in Costa Rica.